SwiftUI lets us disable interactivity for review by setting allows hit testing to false. So in our project, we can use it to disable swiping on any card when the time runs out by checking the value of time remaining. Start by adding this modifier to the innermost Z stack, the one that shows our card stack. Allows hit testing. Time remaining is greater than zero. That enables hit testing when time remaining is one or greater, but sets it to false otherwise because the user is out of time. The other outcome is the user flies through all the cards correctly and ends with none left. When the final card goes away, right now our timer slides down to the center of the screen and carries on ticking. What we want to happen is for the timer to stop so users can see how fast they were and also to show a button allowing them to reset their cards and try again. This takes a little thinking because just setting is active to false isn't enough. If the app moves to the background and then returns, is active will be re-enabled even though there are no cards left. Let's tackle it piece by piece. First, we need a method to run to reset the app so the user can try again. So add this to content view. Funk reset cards. Cards equals array of card. Repeating card.example count 10. Time remaining equals 100. Is active equals true. Second, we need a button to trigger that, shown only when all cards have been removed. Put this after the innermost Z stack just below the allows hit testing modifier. If cards dot is empty, button start again, action reset cards. With some padding, a white background color, a black foreground color, and a capsule clip shape. Now we have code to restart the timer when resetting the cards. But now we need to stop the timer when the final card is removed and make sure it stays stopped when coming back to the foreground. We can resolve the first problem by adding this to the end of the remove card app method. If cards dot is empty, is active equals false. And for the second problem, making sure is active stays false when returning from the background, we should update our function attached to the will enter foreground notification so it explicitly checks for cards. So I'll wrap this with if self.cards.isEmpty is equal to false. And we're done.